Do you have a favorite here? Tough to bet against Taddy. Real tough. And he's not on the far inside like he was in the heat. He didn't get that pick, but uh, he got closed out that time. Now he's got riders on both sides of him. I think they're going to squeeze him out. One of those guys is Mike Brown. He likes to throw those elbows. Someone we haven't mentioned in a while here, the number four, Jeff Aaron. The only other winner besides Patty, and they're the 17 of Heat Race winner. His first time racing in Enduro Cross, Graham Jarvis. Let's see who gets the whole shot. And it looks like it's going to be Destry Abbott straight from the Baja 1000 aboard the Boxer Energy Kawasaki. So Abbott to the front. Taddy right there in contention. Aaron's closing him out. And Aaron oh. super aggressive. Usually we see him a little oh. bit more methodical. And we got riders all bunched up. And whoa, Taddy Blazuziak is down and limping. He thought about it for a second, maybe not even picking up his machine. We're looking at 50 grand saying bye-bye right now, perhaps. He came oh. from last in the heat, though, and he's mad. I could tell the way he got going was like, 50 grand, I got to get going. And he's certainly fast enough and talented enough to pass everybody. Plenty of time, a little bit longer race than the heat. Jeff Aaron, and here is where it comes down. Lazuziak goes for the inside, Ricky Dietrich. We saw these guys throw elbows at the end of a race. Ricky Dietrich getting into him. That was an accident, though. Dietrich had nowhere to go. He was committed, and, and Taddy changed it up a little bit right there and kind of created that problem. Dietrich, you know, he talked about wanting to spoil it for him. That wasn't on purpose right there. It's just a racing incident. And choreograph under on the 118 machine. We saw that oh. for a second. Oh, and a little bit of lockup for Corey on the Husqvarna. That really messes him up for this junior title. Colton Haker, number five, takes over the position. And look at Blazuziak. He got wow. a little bit of a gift. Some guys getting hung up, but man, he is already in it. Aaron way out front, but there's a long ways to go. There's a lot of talent in this field and a lot of obstacles as Jeff Aaron heads into this uh, E3 Spark Plugs water pit. I like the jump coming out of the water pit. A lot of risk there with wet rocks and then Water being carried along the track on the motorcycles as you see Blazuziak, who looked like he might have been hurt there at that cr initial crash, and just making the move past Grafunder, who is hung up on that rock obstacle. A lot of people with problems on that rock obstacle this evening. Uh, just one of the tougher sections because of the elevation and the log in the middle. And Rock here. now trying to deal with this matrix. He gets the front wheel turned a little bit there at the end, but he had enough forward momentum to get through it. So Haker still ahead of Taddy Blazuziak, who's currently in the eighth position, but by no means is Blazuziak out of this. But Jeff Aaron with a very smooth and calculated race going right now as he gets through this elevated rock section. This is your E3 top five running order as we head off to commercial. And we are back trying to wind up this final round of the AMA Enduro Cross Series. And Damon Huffman making a huge charge on the number two machine, getting past Bobby Prock now, who's going up and over one of those cars on more of a wet line as the water obstacle has been blown out and caused a puddle on the other line. And Damon Huffman is now hung up. Tell that, he was so fast. I couldn't believe how aggressive he was. He gets the spot, he got hung up a little bit, but he ended up hanging up these guys as well. So he's got his gap again and afford to make a little mistake without getting passed. And the Lucas Oil Kawasaki of Colton Haker in the mix, the number five machine. This is our battle for fourth place on the track. See a little look over there from Haker going, where is Grafunder? Really too early to be thinking about that. Just take care of business, especially through here. Well, as you look at the bully dog cam in the matrix, he may be thinking, well, Taddy Blazuziak's right behind me. And whoa, we got a pass for the lead. Going to the inside is Ricky Dietrich. Getting past Jeff Aaron, can he make it stick? Aaron has been so good in these rocks. Dietrich shuts the line, oh. but Dietrich is down. Little wheel tap oh. right there from, from uh, Aaron. Aaron carries the wheel over Dietrich's head. Aaron back to the front, but no, Dietrich jumps into the water. Huge amount of risk. The Monster Energy Kawasaki rider Ricky Dietrich risking it all and making it stick. That's some of that works racing, high speed aggression stuff where he's got a little bit of an edge over Jeff Aaron, who's been riding motocross lately to try to get that as one of his tricks. But uh, clearly Dietrich wanting it a little bit more and charging a little bit harder. That bully dog camp doing work for us once again. As Dietrich leads, you mentioned the work series, but Dietrich also doing a great job in the AMA 
Lucas Oil Motocross Series as well. I mean, just unbelievable talent by Dietrich showing people this year he can go fast on all kinds of conditions. That's right. He jumped into a AMA Motocross National finish top five in his first outing. A lot of talk on the internet about, hey, you should just ride motocross. This guy can do a lot of things. Abbott hung up on the corner. Dietrich's got to negotiate around him, but has no problem. You can see Aaron in the picture. Dietrich had to go off the track, get back over the log. Still not really affected by any of it. And jumping into the water, jumping out, and holding his gap over second place. Too. And maybe uh, Destry Abbott gassing out a little bit after racing the Baja 1000 and traveling all night to get to this event. Props to him for doing that, but Dietrich doing work, a man on a mission right now, firmly stated that he would like to be the spoiler for Taddy Blazusiak, and right now he is definitely playing that spoiler role. Colton Haker got company now. Damon Huffman, last year's winner, trying to make the move. Down the inside of the matrix, he'll control the corner. Beautiful. And sometimes getting too aggressive in that matrix can cause problems, but Huffman had the line, and he just steals the spot, bullies his way past the young Haker. But right now, Haker's in the position right now. As we go to the white flag, if it finishes like this, Haker will be your E3 Junior Spark Plugs champion. And he knows he can't win this race now. Leaders are gone. He's just got to be careful and put in a solid lap, not get lap, not get hung up anywhere and throw this championship away. It would be sweet for him to end it on oh. the podium, though. And oh, and Haker is down, but quickly jumps out from underneath his motorcycle. Very aware of his surroundings. It looks like that podium might be slipping away as Damon Huffman cruises out ahead, but right now way out ahead. Ricky Dietrich. Already a little bit of nodding with the head. He can sense it. He's won this thing. Showing why he had that number one plate last year. If it hadn't been for an injury, this guy may have been the champion. So Dietrich takes home the checkers. After being injured earlier in the year, he comes back in fine form. Jeff Aaron with another podium, this time in the second position. A great race for the rider from Colorado. And this is going to be the finish for that junior championship. Colton Haker taking home that E3 Spark Plugs junior championship for riders under 21 years of age. A championship within the championship. The major championship, Taddy Blazusiak, had already claimed prior to the evening. And this is your Honda results board. And you